Hey, this is Tom Vargeletis, and I'm just doing a quick audio test here. I am using Shure SM58. I'm using these in my podcast. I'll put a link to it if you're interested. And I use them for other audio sources for like training videos, tutorials, and things. And you see, I've got a few SM58s. One of the biggest problems with the SM58 and other dynamic microphones is the low output. So a lot of people need to use a gain booster. Well, I've got a couple gain boosters and I've got an SM58 with nothing on it. Right now I'm recording and I record just about all my audio into the Zoom H6. Let me grab it without knocking anything over. So I've got all three mics plugged in here. I've adjusted the levels to be pretty equivalent. I played some white noise on my phone in front of them and then just tried to match the levels. So microphone number one, we have the Triton Audio Fethead. And number one, H6, I have the dial at three. Microphone number two is no fed head, uh, no cloud lifter or anything. And to get equivalent levels, that one on the dial is on number seven. And then on the third microphone, I have the cloud lifter. The cloud lifter is a little bit more expensive than the fed head, but it seems to be about as the same level of strength as the uh, as the fed head here, but on the dial I have it on number four. So number three here, number four, and number seven here in the middle. The whole point of using one of these, the fed head or the cloud lifter, is to give you a boost of clean gain, so you're not pushing your your preamps quite so hard. The Zoom H6 is a great recorder, but it does introduce a little bit of noise. So this test is just to see if because I know on this microphone with the preamps dialed up to seven, it's going to introduce some hiss. I'm just trying to figure out is the fed head better or the cloud lifter or are they about the same? The cloud lifter is actually a little bit more expensive than the fed head, but let's hear a little bit. But I'm just going to read a paragraph out of this book. It's just a, a book that I had lying here on my coffee table. And so we can kind of listen into the comparison of each of these to a, a simple paragraph of spoken word. So I'm just going to flip to a random page. Remember Sean Bissell and the success he found in the beekeeping market? Years ago, Sean was working a job doing search engine optimization, SEO, for a marketing company when he decided to start his own business. The only problem was he didn't feel like he had any expertise aside from doing SEO for other people. So he simultaneously worked on brainstorming a business idea while trying to find an expert to partner with. Remember Sean Bissell and the success he found in the beekeeping market? Years ago, Sean was working a job doing search engine optimization, SEO, for a marketing company when he decided to start his own business. The only problem was he didn't feel like he had any expertise aside from doing SEO for other people. So he simultaneously worked on brainstorming a business idea while trying to find an expert to partner with. Remember Sean Bissell and the success he found in the beekeeping market? Remember Sean Bissell and the success he found in the beekeeping market while trying to find an expert to partner with while trying to find an expert to partner with Remember Sean Bissell and the success he found in the beekeeping market Remember Sean Bissell and the success he found in the beekeeping market Remember Sean Bissell and the success he found in the beekeeping market Remember Sean Bissell and the success he found in the beekeeping market while trying to find an expert to partner with while trying to find an expert to partner with while trying to find an expert to partner with while trying to find an expert to partner with i'm going to review this afterwards but if you can hear a distinct difference in the sound quality leave a comment and let me know is the cloud lifter worth the extra whatever few dollars versus the fed head or is it not even a big enough boost in audio quality to even be worth getting either of these things i know that the uh, sm58 without any gain booster on it with a cloud lifter or a fed head it still comes out to a pretty decent sound but when you're looking for that extra crisp clean high end and you want to have as little distortion possible or in my case i don't like to add a lot of the noise reduction in post because I feel like if you go a little bit too far, it can start to distort the sound. So hopefully the cloud lifter is gonna sound a little bit better than the fed head, but not by much because of the price difference. If they're pretty much the same, then you know that the uh, 
Fedhead is the way to go. With one caveat, if you've never had or handled these before, the cloud lifter, it's in a metal box. Um, it seems pretty durable. The Fed head plugged in here, it's a, not quite so durable. It seems a little bit flimsy. I would be afraid to, if you're doing any kind of a production with like a band and put this up on stage, I'd be worried for the Fed head being broken if the cord gets tugged or if the microphone gets booted around for podcasting purposes. And mostly I have a microphone on a stand. I'm not touching them or doing anything with them. If your gear is going to get kicked around a little bit, just on durability, the cloud lifter is the way to go, but we'll see how it sounds.